Greetings. Hello again. This is Earthman from Origami's Living Soil. Hoping that you're doing well this day. Praying that God is blessing you. Summer's here. And uh, the beginning of summer. It's very exciting. And um, long time overdue. It's such a long winter. Um, so, I'm going to do a video here. Haven't done one in a long time. And I apologize about that. But I've been very busy doing other stuff but um thought I'd do a video what I'm mixing here is uh, a gallon of water and then into that maybe about three or four tablespoons or less maybe about three tablespoons of um, EM1 my effective microbes which is a lactate bacteria a photosynthetic bacteria and a yeast bacteria uh, mixed with water um, and molasses actually not really you know way like whey from milk and that other bottle right there on the left is my own neem oil that or neem water I call it and how I did that is by taking a five gallon bucket filling it up about three gallons putting a, a fish bubbler in there and putting in there about a half cup to a cup of neem meal which is really cheap in uh, online on Amazon or whatever um, and um, very efficient way to making um, pesticide and so that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm making a pesticide uh, slash um, pro probiotic spray for my plants uh, not only will the neem um, deter insects from eating the leaves and stuff uh, they will also provide uh, nitrogen and other nutrients to the plant the effective microbes or the lactate bacteria will help um, crowd out pathogens and other bacteria that cause your plants problems and uh, will be absorbed into the soil and help in the process of breaking down um, food that's in the soil for the, the plant to use and um, it's going to be a good deal so um, I'm going to spray the plants about once a week maybe twice a week depending on how bad it is I'm starting to get insects on my plants already um, so, and this year has been kind of a funny year. Like I said, I've been busy doing um, other different things. Not that this is not important to me. It is. Um, but um, I just, you know, uh, have other priorities. So, um, but I kind of uh, let my garden this year just go crazy. I got really huge sunflowers already. I got my raspberry bushes. I got other flowers coming in, marigolds and cosmos and zinnias and different daisies and thought I'd just do flowers and I got some tomato plants too but um so you know plants um are best taken care of and are using organic and natural methods that God has provided for us um to keep them healthy and help them thrive and grow so I encourage you guys to uh, look out on the internet and how to create an organic uh, living soil for your plants and um, then you know from there you know like this contraption or this concoction that I'm making here will help take care of the rest and you'll have amazing healthy plants that are uh, will grow uh, exactly the way God intended them to grow genetically as medicine and as beauty for our bodies and soul may God bless you this day have a good day.